Well, today is a, another wig tutorial. I'm actually gonna take you on a trip and we're gonna take a look at a blast from the past. This one, I'm sure that you, got, you guys have seen already, but I really, 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 really like this wig. It is by Beverly Johnson. Normally, I'm not that great big of a fan of her wigs. I just have to be honest. Um, some of them, in my opinion, don't look flattering on me. Now they might look good on other women, but just not me. But I came across this wig earlier part of this year, probably January, February. And once again, ladies, I fell in love. And her name is Eden. And she's been featured here on YouTube several times. Um, of course, the picture is not the picture of what Eden looks like. And see, this is what I'm talking about. If I were to put this wig on, I would look like a man in drag. So, um, which nothing wrong with looking like a man in drag, but for me, there would be a problem with looking like a man in drag. Okay. So anyway, um, I saw this wig on um, a young lady on YouTube, Michi, and I'm so happy that she is back. Welcome back, girl. And it looks so pretty on her. Long layers, the whole nine. This is a P4 slash 30. And I like this wig so much that I actually bought two of them. Two, two, two. And that happens from time to time. If there's a wig that I really, really love, I'll go on and buy more than one. And I'll tell you why, ladies. Manufacturers will not keep a style forever. You know, styles change, trends. You know, sometimes the manufacturers are doing more long wigs than short, so on and so forth, the different textures. So if you find a style that you really, really like and you just love it to death, I would buy multiples. And sometimes, ladies, I'm even talking about more than just two. And then that way you have them in your stash, you know, um, and you'll at least have that style at least for a year or so. Okay, so she's still in the bag. And I'm going to try on both colors for you guys because I want you to tell me which color you like. I, myself, really like this color, which is the um, PF30. I also purchased this wig in a number two, I think. And I didn't think that the number two did me justice. So Now, it's a little tangly because I haven't worn this wig in a minute. So I'm just going to spray it right quick. And again, this is the Control Wig 3-in-1 Spray. You know, I, I live by this. And I have it in the bigger bottle, which I featured on one of my other videos. And I told you guys I got the bigger bottle for $2.99. I put that one in my purse or in my cosmetic bag that I take with me on a daily basis. And um, the bigger one stays here. But... She's pretty. She's layers and um, she's really hot. Now, I like this color again, 4 slash 30. Again, especially for the winter months. I think the lighter colors look really pretty. The chestnut browns and the auburns for the winter. Okay, so in the front, no comb or anything. Thank God for that one because I am not a fan of combs in the front or on the side for that matter. Um, moving along to the back no comb so this is a wig that has no combs however she does have the hooks and adjustable straps okay and she's already strapped in so i'm going to go on and put her on also uh kind of a well i'll let you see this pseudo part i say pseudo part because you see the stitching but you don't actually see any skin so they didn't place any skin i'm not too much of a fan of that but hopefully nobody's going to really be looking at that i did wear this wig earlier this year for a photo shoot and i thought it came out pretty good okay so i'm going to place her on my head and i'm going to take off my butterfly ring for a minute i love this ring but sometimes it gets caught up in the hair Okay, so I'm going to line up the tabs ear to ear. 
And what I like about Eden is, is that she's very, very full. When I say full, I mean full. She is a full, full, full wig. If you are a lover of um, full wigs, some women aren't. Some women don't like full wigs. I am a lover of full wigs. I love for my wig to be full and long. And then I like the shorter styles too, but I think my number one choice, if I had to choose, would be the full ones. Now, I didn't pin this one down. Where are my pins? Where are my pins? See what I'm talking about? Whenever I move, the pins seem to move with me and they disappear. So I'm gonna pin each side down. And again, I'm using the shorter bobby pins. This one has been in the package. It hasn't been on a head, so it really needs to be sitting on a head for at least a day so it can kind of mold. But I still think it's pretty. And as I said, see it has layers here. You guys can see. Really pretty layers. Kind of looks a little bit like, um, oh, What's, what's the wig that we all have? Ballad Girl. Yeah, I have about two of those and I won't be doing a tutorial on that because I know you guys are all ballied out. I know I am. So everybody has Ballad Girl. Kind of looks like Carmen too by Model Model. I've been trying to find that one here locally um, without success. Okay, so I think she is pretty hot. Um, of course, I would need to work a little bit more on the front here. You could do a swoop if you want to, or you could do some other things with it. Okay, give me just a moment. I'm gonna try to get this girl under control. And I'm um, also gonna do a, a change too, but I wanna get the front under control and at least to show you a little bit of that. I'll be right back, stay tuned. Okay guys. I think I got it a little bit under control, but if you notice here, it looks a little boxy. And again, that's because it's been sitting in the package for a while. I haven't worn Eaton since last fall. Um, and therefore, actually since that last photo shoot, and that was, that was this past March, I think. So it needs to be molded, it needs to sit out and season, what I call season and mold to um, your wig head. But with this color, you definitely have to have your eyes tight. Um, you have to have a full face of makeup, as I call it, because if not, you're just gonna kind of blend on in with the color of the wig. Okay, now that you've seen this color on me, I want you to see the, I think I have a number two. Yeah, I have a number two here. I want you guys to see that one on me, and let me know what you think. Comment and tell me which color you think looks the best on me. Okay, stand by. Okay, YouTubers, I'm back. This is Eden in number two. So remember before I had on a P430, kind of the chestnut brown color with a little tinge of red in it too. This is the number two. And uh, I want you guys to let me know which color do you like best on me? I like both of them. I do, they both have something to offer as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and that's great style, but again, same wig, different color. Um, you know, kind of the, it reminds me a little bit of the fair faucet look. I think that the 4 slash 30 P, P4 slash 30, um, is a little bushier. That tends to happen, ladies, when you buy the same wig in a different color, understand that the, um, hair quality or texture will be a little bit different. So I find that with the just solid colors, 1B, one, one Number two, number four, well, I don't know about the four, but at least number two, um, it won't be as bushy. But when you get to the colors, the mixed colors, they just take on a life of their own. So anyway, uh, comment, let me know what you think. It was a pleasure to talk with you guys again. And thank you for watching The Beauty Zone. This is Felicia. Again, Eden, blast from the past. Costs about $32.99 with I think 10 to 15% off. So um, about $28, $29. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later. Bye-bye.